So I was originally planning on making a My Hero Academia video about All Might and All For One. However, I just got out of surgery and that would be a pretty major video that I honestly don't feel up to making at the moment. So instead, we're going to do a video talking about the new DC animated film, The Death of Superman. One of the major problems with the depiction of Superman in movies recently, specifically the DCEU, is that he it just isn't Superman. Superman is meant to be a character that is the perfect Boy Scout. He's the perfect man. He's always happy. He's always cheerful. He's always saving the day and he's smiling while doing it. Superman goes out of his way to make sure that no one dies. That there are no casualties during his battle. Of course, that was the main controversy about the Man of Steel movie. The Man of Steel depicted Superman fighting General Zod in the middle of Metropolis and absolutely wrecking the city. He nearly destroyed it and millions of people died. Superman didn't go out of his way to save each and every one of them, running away from the fight just to save a single life. Superman is meant to be somebody that all the kids love. All the kids in Metropolis look up to Superman. They adore him. Superman should be happy when he's sitting down and talking to kids. He should be smiling and playing with them, playing around, being goofy. That's what Superman is about. He's very good with kids. He's the exact opposite of Batman. When one of the kids asked him what's his favorite thing about Earth, he should instantly have an answer because Superman loves the planet Earth. Why else would he dedicate his whole life to protecting it? So live action Superman is a mess. And there was also an argument to be made that for the past couple of years up until recently, comic book Superman was a mess because people really did not enjoy the new version of Superman that was born from the new 52. And you know what? I will agree with that. Aside for one storyline of Superman losing his powers and being brought down to a street level hero like Batman, I honestly didn't enjoy or even have any interest in any of the runs or comics of the new 52 Superman. It wasn't until the old Superman returned with Lois Lane and their son Jonathan Kent that I became invested in this character. However, unlike the live action movies, this DC animated film manages to capture what I love about Superman. And I think the best place to start with talking about why I love this version of Superman is the character of Bibbo. Bibbo is not an important character. He's nobody significant. He had barely any role in the overall story or in any prior story. He's just the guy that Superman has saved before that is a major fan of Superman. He considers Superman a real legitimate friend. After Superman saves the mayor from some criminal, Bibbo is like, hey man, can I have a picture? And instead of being all brooding and like, uh, Superman's like, sure thing, man. And he goes over, he watches him, and he plays with his phone. Bibbo can't get his phone to work. And he kind of just stands there smiling awkwardly like, Come on, take the picture, buddy. But he's standing there, he's like, Cool, I'll take a picture with you. You're a cool dude. You want a picture to put in your restaurant. That's really cool. Let's do it. Jimmy Olsen comes over, he takes the picture. Superman tilts his head, he smiles, he's like, it's good seeing you, and he takes off. Throughout his battle with Doomsday, Superman's main goal is making sure as few people die as possible. At first, he tries to take him away from the city, they end up fighting on a bridge, he keeps trying to save the people on the bridge to hold Doomsday back while people have the chance to escape. There is this great scene where Superman is fighting Doomsday and some kid is running with his mom and he drops his PSP or game console or whatever. And he runs back to get it and a piece of debris is about to hit him and Superman punches Doomsday away and he bolts over and he puts his body between the debris and the kid 
And then he hands the kid the game console, and he said, go to your mom, and the kid hugs him, and it's a really nice scene, through them smile, and he goes, he goes back, he continues to fight Doomsday, and at the very end, when he's beaten down and he's dying, he's just like, it's everyone safe. Did I save everyone? That's all that matters to him, and this is, in my opinion, the best depiction of Superman in over a decade. Outside the comic books. Obviously the comic book Superman right now is amazing, but outside the comic books, on like a theatrical screen, on a movie, or on a TV show, this is the best version of Superman we have seen. He's fun, he's exciting, he's cheerful, he's the Boy Scout, he's incredibly likable, he's easy to side with, and he's easy to care about. One of the big problems the writers of Superman stories face is that he's so powerful. How do you make us like him? This movie, while I'm not going to talk about it heavily, delves heavily